Often, you know, I think if you said to people, you know, gave them a, a word association test and, you know, you said black and they said white and, you know, various words like that, and you said legalist, they would say antinomian because they think of these as complete opposites of one another. I think if you go back to the origins of both, you actually find them in the opening verses of Genesis chapter 3, that the serpent comes along and one of the things he has in view is, is to turn Eve into a legalist because what he wants to do is to distort her sense that God is good and kind and generous. And so everything he says, every commandment he gives is a good and kind and generous commandment. And he takes one of those commandments and he says, don't you see how uh, restricting God is? Uh, don't you see how you... He, he's really saying to you, you've got to, you've got to earn things from me. And in a way that gives her a legalistic view of God. Um, legalism in its essence is to take God's law away from God's loving person. And that's what he actually accomplishes in, in the temptation. But then interestingly, what does Eve, the legalist, do? She becomes an antinomian. As Satan says, you know, go, go and take it. Um, and so she breaks God's law. So I think one of the things that we can learn from this, and certainly the masters of the spiritual life, as far as I can see, have, have understood this, that because of our sin, we're all legalists by nature. This is why I think often when people hear the gospel, the free grace of God in Jesus Christ, they will say, I'm, I'm so glad that you've told me this. I'm, I'm going to try harder. I'm, I'm going to start trying to keep the commandments because they've basically got a legalistic heart. And some people simply harden that, and others people, other people try to escape it by becoming antinomians. I think if I can ignore the law, it will go away. And the fact of the matter is that neither legalism nor antinomianism is able to bring us back into the kind of fellowship with God that we need. And so what we find in the New Testament, fascinatingly, is that, for example, when Paul is dealing with legalism or when Paul is dealing with antinomianism, in a sense, he prescribes the same gospel remedy for both in Jesus Christ, the grace of God in him, and our union with him.